our audio box. We have an on off switch here that turns on the power. As you can see, I know I have power because I have a green light. It runs off of three AA batteries that are interchangeable. Um, this is our switchboard. You load, we'll show you in a second, you connect the computer here and you load different things. These wires are all feeding into these different ports. These ports, you plug in your dollar switch or whatever switch you have, and then when you hit that, it will play the music assigned to that channel. Alexa, play Johnny Cash. And so like that. Shuffling songs by Johnny Cash. All right, so once we have all of our ports that are coming from our circuit board, we also have this circuit board that connects to our speaker here. The speaker sits in our uh, case cover. You can adjust volume a little bit here by moving this little black guy on the different spikes. We have it as loud as it can go right now. And this case sits on here just like that. It's not watertight, um, but it is pretty durable. So here we have a smaller, more condensed version of an audio box. It's the same uh, battery type, same chip. They just sit a little bit closer. I'm going to pull this off. We have Velcro holding them all down so they don't mack around. Um, so you're going to take a mini USB and you're going to plug that into the side here. And then you just connect your USB to your computer. And we use Audacity to load up files. And we'll show you that in just a second. So when you're in your um, computer's application that stores music, you can just drag it and drop it over to the Audacity app and it should download it for you and then all of your music is right there and you can cut it as you wish so you can just select an area and then drag it across and from there you can export your selected audio you can rename it so this is the song bingo um, before downloading it to the actual usb you're going to want to change it to a t00 .ogg file depending upon which port you want it to go to on the USB. So T00 is going to come over and it's going to be in this little port that's under zero, that first guy. So you start with zero is the tricky part and then you'll start with one, two, and so on. So this is what it looks like when you open up the USB once you plug it in. As you can see, this USB, um, or the chip, has two files already saved on it. Both of these are songs that have been previously downloaded onto the chip. So today we're going to change the order that these songs appear on the chip. We don't want this song to be in the T0 spot any longer, so we're going to open it with the Audacity. And here it is, it popped up. So now we're going to export the audio. And instead of making it T00, we're going to make it T04. And we are going to now save it to the um, Adafruit, which is the chip name that appears on the computer. So this is a command that we've already said it's a yes command in a male's voice and we're going to make this our t00 file on the chip so once again go to export audio we're going to rename it to and then we're making sure that it's going to the adafruit and we're saving it and it already exists because that was the previous song and so we're, we are going to replace it, so we're going to say yes. Okay. And now it should be right there. So this is what our final picture looks like of all of the files that we've downloaded onto the chip so far. We wanted to point out these two specific files that look a little bit different than the rest of them. These are randomized files, so if you hit one of the um, switches that you plug into it, it'll play various songs depending on what you decide to download. Also to note, there's 16 megabytes on this specific chip, so you can download a lot of different songs on them that are 30 seconds in length or so, but when it comes to downloading a long file, you're not going to be able to download as many onto this specific chip. So it's always helpful to make a list of kind of what you have going. Our first T0, our first port is going to be yes and no, we're going to play some bingo. Uh, we need to change this and put some Elmo on there. 
is just an idea of what that'll do. And then to test it, turn it on, make sure we have our green light. And we'll plug it in. No. There's our no. Try one. Yes. There's our yes from John. If you're happy, 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 clap. So these are our last two commands. We have Alma loaded in, which is just like one of our songs. And we also pair Alexa, which is the Amazon Echo. Um, and basically what you can do is with our dollar switch that we made. Alexa, play children's music. So with this, Alexa is able to be more usable. Um, and the kid can literally hit a switch and get a children's channel.